Hey beautiful ones. Good afternoon. Good evening. I think that it's only I would be remiss if I do not come to you on this great Oman day. Yes, Oman day. And let me talk about Oman. All right, because today's today's what? International Oman Day. I may say if today International Oman Day, we got to show up as a woman and we got to talk a little bit about some of the the intricacies of of being a woman in the Guyanese context. You know, I'm thinking about International Woman Day and everybody ah can be everybody yes them care and say eh, eh, happy international woman day happy international woman day everybody happy international woman day everybody at table woman day woman day woman day and I said to myself oh gosh how are we gonna make sense of all this thing about woman day and woman day we got to think about first thing before you were woman you was my little girl when you was my little girl look much thing you pass through all them things we see you pass through when you were little girl they shape you and they help you to be the woman that you are today. So now we get none of the experiences where you get when you was a girl pick me before you turn woman. Good night, good night, good night. Yes, yes. Now we get none of them experience that. You understand? So when we think about myself and me think about all women pass through as a Guyanese woman, all the, the trauma all the the abuse i mean i blame nobody because me don't go through that phase of forgiving because that one thing that we got to do you see you can't talk about woman day and you're not talk about releasing your heart from the heart and the pain and the unforgiveness yes you got to release them you see if you don't release them if you don't release all them things will happen to you you can then wish everybody every minute international woman day and guess what that don't make no sense because what I mean, what I mean for them tell people happy International Woman Day. Eh? It don't make no sense if we just say happy International Woman Day. And we not deal with the thing what can make you one good woman, one bad woman, or one sweet woman. Yes, and let me tell you a true. Look, for instance, you don't wake up so me just say and turn woman. All them things what happen to you, them will shape you. So when you wake up and you see one woman. And she mouth just long like a pig and she behave like a hag. You have to dig a little deeper. Dig a little deeper and find out what all the experiences that come together so for make this woman into the woman that she be. What make this woman a be here, so? And what happened to this woman? What make this woman a be here, so? People not just wake up and get like that. So when you, when you see she, not approach she like, oh God, she behave like a pig. Find out. Dig a little deeper. And find out why the Gamata experiences that come together for make that woman into who she be. And when you see you understand that, then you are able to say, oh gosh, a damek shabye so. You see, when we are talking about woman, we got to start talk about first the woman them were raised we. We got to start thinking about what them got through for raised we. What kind of society them live in when they been a raised we. What all kind of thing what them pass through and how them take all them things that what them pass through and show them and we and how them thing that color we own reality so that when we stand up now as woman, as woman, we must say, how are we gonna nurture? How are you gonna nurture if you never feel? Eh? And not nothing are we gonna think about, you know, how you gonna nurture our old generation of people if you just been taught say you got to come and be strong and stand up for yourself and you don't want to be poly poly because you don't want none man say that you know he got to do this and that for you you see the thing is you have to find one balance it's like a conflict yes it's a conflict and you got to find one balance and the balance where you got to find is that be strong yes but be little poly too nothing around with being poly Nuff nuff man want one woman one little poly me not say be poly poly and sick and prop sorrow me not talk about that but you can't afford to be little poly when me say be little poly what me say is that you know like if a gate heavy no, you don't have to push the gate open you can call your man and say how about you come push a gate for me now man like that man now when you lose your, your little girlishness, even though some of them are make you lose them. You see, when we talk about the conflict, them still not want you lose your little girlishness. You must keep that little girlishness in you. You must still be like, oh, why? You know, not, 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 not lose the little girl in you. 
Because when you lose the little girl, you become a little bored and you become a little this and you become a little that. I mean, also, my ever said, wait, me all life is off for just stand up and please man and do things for man. No, man, that behave so man. I mean, I talk about that. An international woman, they like we talk about them things what we, what we are dealing with. So, you see, me talk about the conflict. The next thing is, let me talk about the fact that in we society where we grew up in, our reason to create one safe space for women and men to have good conversation where they can talk over their problem. And that is why we got a problem with man like Nakoman. Just you left them something like hit. That all they want to do, they want to cuff, they want to kick, they want to fight, they want to beat you. You understand? Because we never had that space where people can sit down and talk. All you can do is drink rum and cuss up. You understand? And then you got man. I tell you all kind of thing we got, you know. We got man. When I please them woman. And when the woman go out and take out a man, they want to kill him. You see when you are a man, me not a woman there, but me got to talk a bit to the men there. You see when you are a man, you make sure nobody now outwalk you. Make sure say you are 100 in whatever you do. Show up as 100. If you show up as 100, nobody now got to outwalk you. You know, this is a very important thing, you know. I should say thank you for the start. Thank you so much. Nobody will outwalk you if you're doing your work. Now, we understand that we have one society where it's not a space where you can just talk about things. Some people don't know how to do what they're supposed to do. What we gonna do with all them people that wanna know how to do what they're supposed to do? Somebody got to teach them. They so tell you, we got to create space where people will teach people. It's all well and good for their say internet. Okay, happy international woman day, woman day, woman day. And we now look at all the issues that we got and nothing, nothing, you know. Think about all the women who went through all kind of sexual trauma. And then I say nothing. And then they stiff up, stiff up, stiff up. Then can't even have a good relationship. Never get one orgasm in their life. Them need to know that what. You understand? And we just delicate nothing that happen. You see what I'm talking about? Enough, enough thing are we got to deal with in this society. Now, in addition to that, let me talk about um, the impact of education, how it does twist up some woman when they marry man. Let me tell you one thing. If you're a woman, I don't how much degree you got PhD, this, that. Know how to balance yourself. Balance yourself. When you walk in your house, not, not let the PhD walk in front of you. Not let the degree and the master's walk in front of you. Come in your vulnerability. It's okay to walk with your vulnerability. Just walk in and let your vulnerability walk in front of you. And when you see your vulnerability walk in front of you, you see me can't say the word vulnerability, vulnerability, vulnerability. See, mommy not really want to call it word. Mommy just to tell you. Not put the education in front. The education be behind. You understand? Let people see you humble. Or oh, you were married to a man and because you think say you more qualify in a you category. What is the what is you category? What category you that in that the man in that in there with you? You tell me what a category name. Eh? You see when you build life with somebody, this thing that a category. You understand? All he got is people who share principle. So be balanced. No, me no, all the woman go say, not tell me but be balanced, cause you know what I'm going to deal with it. Me understand. Not say, me, me can't say me understand, fully understand. But what me say is, okay, you got a man, where you are deal with, this man will do your whole manner thing, and you are sit down and take him. You sit down there and you are take him. And all you want are for me come and other people come and just sit down here and talk, oh God, y'all, this man will do me this thing, and this man will do me that, and this man will do me that, and this man will do me all kind of thing. And guess what? When you're done, you are the man gone right there. So me not say when you see teeth and tongue bite, me not get in because you see when them two go down, then they're like surround the room, bati and po, I you keep out the people business. Keep out the business. Because if the woman... No, all them things was she ever through with a man, and she still a say, you know what? She has stay with a man. Some people not really want to left what they got, and they understand that too. You see, that's what I tell her. You say in the Guyanese context, this thing intricate, this thing not so easy like we think. Think about it. You're a woman. You build your whole life with this man. Everything where you got, you put in there with this man. That all you got, that all you know. If this man a do thing where you don't like, you a sit down and you a think, oh, what happened to you? Where you go go? 
And you think, oh, people gonna see you. What people gonna say about you? You lose this, you lose that. How you, how you gonna think? So what you prefer to do? You prefer to just live like if nothing now go on. So you see me talk about the layers of conflict. So when you talk about International Woman Day, we have to, we have to talk about the dissatisfied woman. The woman was dying there with you and she gave blow. You don't even know, buddy. You don't even know you get blow. She go, she do what she got to do. She come home back and she then nice and quiet. Till the man find out then, oh geez. Mouth open, story jump out, everything broke up. We got to talk about that. We got to talk about that woman, one man a beat. Because they don't know how else to express themselves. They don't know what to do. Or we go talk about International Woman Day. And we never talk about this. Eh? Tell me how we go talk about that. Me sit down and say, oh gosh. How we go talk about International Woman Day? Eh? When are we never address the issues of the woman? The issues are the woman. And the issues are the sweet woman. Yes, we got to talk about them too. Because sweet woman not born yesterday, then come from somewhere and end up in there. And you know that too. Where they come from? Has somebody turned one sweet woman? And so, you know, as you, as you go about thinking about International Woman Day, pause and think about, not just think about yourself, think about where we find we self in march 2021 think about the issues that we find ourselves with and the layers and layers and layers of issues that nobody no one talk about thank you for the star nadira nobody no one talk about it so how are we just a same thing and say happy international woman day and are we not see say how we got how we got work for do we got work for do, walk, walk, walk. Yes, we got work for do. We got work for do for Allen Gal right now. Was somebody in their family abused them? Somebody had touched them, and they must say somebody had touched them, and then mama not believe them, and nobody in the family not believe them. Was somebody had touched them, and I would really just say International Woman Day, eh? And them same girl that got turn woman. And they got turn woman who the old perception gonna be colored by them experience what them go through. Eh? Tell me now. What we gonna say about that? We got to talk about that. We got to talk about all them woman. What they're right now. What people talk all kind of thing in their life. And then I forget them. And then I forgive they not forgive. They must live from this hard, hard place. And let me tell you, when you live from the hard, hard place, you can't nurture anybody. Or you will give. For you to give from a place of, of purity. For you to give, you got to first unburden yourself. We got to talk about them, Amanda. They got to get one chance for unburden themselves. Me had to go through. And find back that little girl in me because you see that little girl in me. You much think she went through? You much think that little girl in me went through? Me had to go through a healing of the girl in me because she was destroyed. You understand? She was destroyed. And guess what? Me being a mama me picking them from a place of pain. A pain me being a mother them from. And me see that everything what me gonna do, me not even gonna think. Me just whatever. My mama do what everybody do. And that will be not come out. And then we have to go through healing. So we talk about International Woman Day. Let me talk about how much woman need healing. They need healing. Then daddy cuss them. Tell them God bite them. All kind of manner of thing. And then I forget nothing. They want to release. And then I know for release them. Um, you know much woman go through right now. Then emotionally abusive relationship. Man, I tell them all kind of thing. The man, I take them eye for see. Like when we say, take your mati eye for see. I throw the man eye them. I see the world. And then stop seeing themselves. They even know who they is right now. Because the man do so till he take away their own individuality and their personality. Everything gone. And then just a try to survive and they must scream and nobody not hear them. Eh? 
When we talk about international women, yeah, we got to think about them women. Yes, we got to think about them women. And we got to, we got to be a woman. We can see other women. That means that we got to have compassion. Yes, when you see other women, no matter where you see them in, remember say you are a woman too. Now forget where you pass through. Now forget who you are. Now, now lose now lose your humanity and your compassion. It's alright for tell people happy International Woman Day. But more than anything else, it's better for help people upon their journey of healing. Me know some people don't need healing. Some people don't need the kind of healing one me, like what me they need. Let me tell you, see me? Me, me just me just happy and grateful that me discover say in order for me to be a better mama, better wife, better sister, better friend, the best thing me could have do for myself is work for me. That the best thing me ever could have do for myself. Work for me. Me have to work for me daddy lessness. You know what daddy lessness? That when you're daddy, who are the first man who's supposed to love you unconditionally. When he a run from you, when he na de wrong. So me suffer from daddylessness, me suffer from abandonment. That means that the man who's supposed to be the first man who's supposed to love you without condition, he gone. So because of that, me now get this thing from my shoulder say, if me daddy na stay, none man na stay. You understand? And because me get that, when me go into relationship now, me gonna expect that all of them go broke up like nothing not gonna stay. Because I saw my daddy been stay. How much other woman you know who are suffer from daddylessness? Trauma, abuse, all them things. So me not say not send card and I say happy international woman day. But what me I say as a woman, let me dig deeper. Because you see, as woman, if we want to accept it or not. We, in our essence, yes, in our essence, in who we are as women, in who we are with our pain or without our pain, who we are as women, that's the gift that we are giving to the world. And if we allow ourselves to be healed, we are going to give the best gift to the world. But if we do not engage in the work of healing, if we do not seek help for our pain and our twisted or twisted personalities and all that has happened to us if we become so harsh that we cannot even find our place of love anymore what are we going to give to the world and every person that comes in contact with us every person that is impacted by our compassion or lack thereof will be left with an indelible mark on their lives. So I want to say to us, first as women of, as Guyanese women, next as women of Caribbean, and then totally as women of the world, the best thing we can do for ourselves on this International Woman's Day, or as we say in our Guyanese Creole, International Woman Day, is to begin our work of healing. If you've not done your work of healing, don't feel guilty. Just begin your work of healing. It's the best gift that you give to yourself and to those who are coming after you. It's a generational gift that keeps on giving. So that's what I have for you guys. And I want to wish you again, happy International Oman Day. Thank you for coming. We go call them George. All right, later. Bye-bye.